Hey guys, I'm Ramit. I'm Ramon. I'm Paras. I'm Sahil, and we are the local train. So uh, this band was started in 2008, and uh, I had some songs written down. So I met Ramit uh, in a studio in Chandigarh. I wanted him to play the bass on it. After we recorded a couple of songs, he actually asked me if you, you know, you want to do this on a bigger scale, and then that's, that's when he suggested Sahil. That kept on going for like a couple of years, and then in 2011, Paras joined the band as the lead guitarist of the band, and since then, this has been the lineup. Then we got a room in a music school in Chandigarh as a favor from a friend who was a teacher there, and that's when we started jamming our, all our songs, and we actually, I think, composed the first album there only. So yeah, we're a DIY band for the most part. We would, uh, in the early days, sit down, figure out how to go about recording, how to go about putting our songs together, what the kind of sound we were looking for. Then we would figure out how to record. We used to have this computer we put together and uh, just getting like an audio interface, mic, microphones, and just, just trying out different stuff, you know? It was hit and trial to start with. In 2012, we guys moved to Bombay for a few months to record our uh, debut album. That was the plan. We took one place together, the four of us started living together. That's when we realized that this could probably work out if the four of us stay in one place when we head back. So, I was managing the band for the first few years, so the money coming in and going out, I just you know made sure that it's, all of it is there at the same time. Whatever money we were making, we weren't looking at taking that money home with us. We were looking at investing back into the business because there's a lot that you need to do. We need more gear, we need new gear. We want to sound a certain way, so we have to buy things. We want to get a good video made, that costs money. Whatever money was coming in, we had to kind of plan for it, account for it, make sure that we can, you know, survive the next three, four months without going broke. So it, it took us, it took us a lot, a lot of planning before we actually reached Bombay, like with our finances and everything. That was the seed that, that led to all of this, like, you know, planning it in a way that, you know, that everything that we make, it has to be reinvested into this project. It is an investment. In the indie scene, I think it's quite cool to not worry about money. But the fact is that if there's no money backing you and you want to follow your passion, then you have to be a little responsible towards the financial side of things because that's how the world works. So, to put everything in perspective, like we released the first album after so many years, right? Of course, we were really happy to put it out. But at the same time, we were already working on the second album. So once we were done with the first album in 2015, we played the shows, we promoted it for one year, we released whatever videos we had to release and we started writing the new one. When we put out Wakif, you know, we weren't really expecting anything. It was like a big experiment for us, you know, we were just like, let's do our own thing and let's just see how it goes. Fortunately for us, it was very well received. We went on to play 15 cities, eight of which were like sold out. It was quite surprising for us because you know, people were just going to YouTube, they were looking at bootleg videos and by the time we were like, you know, maybe uh, at the Seventh City, people were already singing the songs. I think uh, over time everything grows and uh, just the jump that we've had between the first and the second album, we want to do the same for the third album. We've already started thinking towards it. And uh, we as people have grown, you know, the scale has gotten a little bigger. We want to increase the scale again, you know, we want to try new things. We want to try recording our album in a very different way. We want to try recording a live album this time. It's an idea that we're now working towards. 